Hi everyone, I am back with another video. My name is Charisma Walker and welcome to my channel y'all. By the way, I got a new tumbler. I love this tumbler so freaking much. Like, look at it. It's so beautiful. It's like, what is it? A sundae? Like an ice cream sundae? And then it has like this, the little twirly straw. It is so freaking cute. You know what? I'm about to fill it up right now because this is going to be a long story. Let's go. I love this thing. It's so freaking beautiful. So basically, I'm gonna be doing a story time video about the time I had to dine and dash. I repeat, I had to dine and dash. And you know me, I pay for my meals, okay? I'm an independent woman, I don't need nobody to pay for me, but this day, I had to, okay? I had to have somebody pay for me. <laughs> okay, so let's just get into the video. It was my senior year of high school. Okay, my senior year of high school and I did not have a job. I didn't have a job. I was not working at the moment. I'm like, let me relax. I don't have time to be working right now. I got prom, graduation, like I'm doing a thing. So I don't need no job right now. I'm just chilling. Like, let me get this over with so I can get out of this fucking school and move on with my life. This time I was going to a party. It wasn't really a party, it was like a school dance. But I forgot what the theme was. I think it was like 90s theme. Yeah, I think it was like 90s theme. So we had to dress up 90s, but all the rules that we had at this school, like back in the 90s, it wasn't no rules, okay? It wasn't no rules of what you can and cannot wear. And then I come to this school and they talking about rules for the dance of the 90s dance. Come on now. Like, no. Me and my best friend at the moment, we live right down the street from each other. So she just came and got ready at my house. We was gonna have a good time. We was just goofing around, getting ready, having so much fun getting ready. And our clothes was freaking bomb. Like, we looked so incredibly cute. I thought I looked cute. She thought she looked cute. We were just, you know, we thought we was cute, okay? It was senior year of high school. Everybody thought they was cute. We're on our way to the dance. No, we didn't have a car to go in. No, we didn't have a limousine. No, we didn't have none of that stuff because we're from Chicago and we're from the hood. So, we're taking the transportation, CTA, looking like some freaking glam dolls. We're outside, standing at the bus stop, all dressed up, all cute, and we got horns honking. We got guys trying to talk to us, like, it's stressful okay it's very stressful when you're cute and you got to take the CTA so we're on our way there and you know it's a certain time you have to be there um, for school because you know the rules are strict you have to be there for a certain time if you're not then you can't come in all that stupid stuff when we get there we see all of our friends we're having a good time they had like a popcorn section they had a photo booth I don't think I have the pictures we took from our photo booth but Y'all, y'all don't even want to see those, okay? I, I, I look bad. I was a high schooler. I didn't know nothing about makeup. Like, I was super skinny. Okay, we that's for another time. Let's, let's just get back into this video. We're just having so much fun doing all of these different activities, games, doing a cha-cha slide. We just having so much fun. So, at the end of this adventure that we went on for this dance or whatever, we just had a chance to finally you know relax and we all got together and we t decided to kind of like go somewhere after i'm telling all my friends like listen okay listen hunties listen i have no money okay your girl is broke i'm gonna just be 100 percent honest with you your girl is broke i have no money to go anywhere i only have bus fare you know you dig i only got a bus fare that venture card is all i got oh so, you know i had like five dollars but i wasn't gonna tell them that like Ain't no point. You basically broke. I'm broke. I don't have no money. And all my friends is like, you need to come with us. Like, you don't never get outside the house. You right. Because my parents would tear that ass up. My curfew in high school was 9 o'clock on the dot. You can't miss nothing. You can't. You can't. You just can't do it. 9 o'clock. That's when parties start. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice this day since my friends want to. It's senior year, you know? It's senior year. I'm about to graduate. I did everything I'm supposed to do. I got A's. I'm lying. I got B's. I'm lying. I did all the things that I needed to do. And it's my time to shine. Like, I'm not finna come in when they tell me to come in. I'm a teenager, okay? I'm a teenager now, so I don't need to be in at 9 o'clock on the dot. So I decided to just go out with my friends and just have fun. 
and you know I told them what I had to tell them and all of them agreed to you know take care of me they said they would buy me a meal so I remember those words coming out their mouth listen to what I'm saying y'all they told me that they were gonna pay for my meal for me so I'm like you know I'm don't let people buy my meals like I'm not that type of girl I'm not that type of girl at all to let people take care of me like that like I pay for what I need to pay for okay I'm independent like I said like I don't do that but in this occasion I really want to have fun with my friends it's like the last year so why not why not just let them so pay? we decided to go downtown and go to this little restaurant like first we were getting lost because most of the things that we were gonna go to like all the restaurants we were gonna go to were closed or they were out of business so we went to find like this you know restaurant that was low-key in the cut we were sketchy about it at first but when we went in there the food smelled good it was barely anybody in there so we were just thinking maybe they're nasty but at the same time we didn't have nowhere else to go so we might as well just sit here and try to eat this disgusting meal they might give us we all sit down we're talking chit chatting having fun everybody just talking my best friend at the time was right next to me and i had everybody else around the table and we're all just bonding having fun me in high school i was a very you know quiet person i don't talk unless people talk to me um i don't really too much remember a lot from high school because i wasn't really social like that and i feel like i was I wasn't popular, but I was known from cheerleading, and I was known from the people I talked to and hanged with, like my, my best friend at the time. So I feel like people just knew me because of them. So I wasn't really that type of person who really wanted to put myself out there. So the people that was mainly in that circle that I was sitting with wasn't really people I would talk to all the time. They were people that I would call associates, but they weren't like my real friends. Like they weren't friends that would always hit me up and have my back. And look around today they're not here so just to let you know that just goes to show that you just you know associates associates no such thing as friends but basically we all sat down and we started to like plan out what we were gonna eat i decided i was just gonna go with something simple i don't think it i don't know exactly what it was but i'm gonna go with nachos because i know it was real cheap so i decided to get some nachos because i'm like these people are paying like these people around me these friends that i so-called have are around me taking care of me they're buying me a meal okay they're buying me a meal when they don't even have to so i'm not gonna order something off the list like steak or lobster or some freaking oysters i'm not gonna go beyond what i should go beyond because i wouldn't even buy that stuff for myself what make you think somebody else is going to be that generous for you okay so be really be nice, okay? Don't buy something like that when people are paying for you. That's rude as fuck. I decided to go with nachos. I'm like, this is easy to fill me up. I'm like freaking 100 pounds back then. So I'm like, this is going to fill me up with some water. I'm good. The waitress that we had was, you could tell she had just first got started. She was like my age that I am today. Back then, I was probably like 18, and now I'm 21. So I'm guessing she was around 23 yeah she was around 23 at the time so we looking at her like dang she kind of nervous to be taking care of us like she's shaking and sweating and hesitating like is this your first day on the job we asked her and she's like yeah it's my first day on this job um can i take your order like girl loosen up it's okay i understand that this is your first day on the job and you don't gotta be acting like you scared of us so we started to order our food and i went with the nachos everybody went with what they wanted to go to she kept bringing us sour cream instead of ranch i don't know who ordered like ranch or sour cream but i just remember that they really was getting mad at her because she kept giving us sour cream instead of ranch every single time she was giving her sour cream and i'm just like get yourself together ladies so while i'm focused on this waitress messing up our orders I didn't realize that the time was ticking, time was ticking, time was ticking, time was ticking. I looked at the time and it's already 9, like 9.20 something. And I see that my mom was blowing up my phone. So I'm like, mother, calm down, okay? I, you know where I'm at. I told you where I'm at. I told you, I told you everything you need to know. I know I missed my curfew, but it's senior year. Loosen up, okay, mother? Loosen up. I decided to text my mom. I text her, let her know that I'm still with my best friend. My mom was like, okay, just be home soon. So I'm like, okay, I finally got her off my back. 
So we started to eat when our food came. I got my nachos, you know, I ate them all up. After we were done with our meal, we just started to talk a little bit more. And I'm looking at the timeline. I understand that y'all don't have a curfew the way I have a curfew. So y'all can sit here all day and night and just chit chat and have a lot of fun. But for me, like I'm stressing right now. I can't really enjoy my time right now because I need to be home right now and I don't know where I'm at right now so I need y'all to come on right now by the end of their conversation or whatever we get the the check we get the our check of how much everything was all together so we look at this check pass it around we're just like oh my freaking god all this food together was that much are you kidding me it wasn't even that bomb like I see if I was at Red Lobster or some fucking Olive Garden but it was not even all that so I don't understand what's going on here. Everybody's looking around like, dang, how are we gonna pay for this all together? Like, I still gotta pay for her meals, this blah, blah, blah. Like, like we didn't have like, what we was gonna do. Like, we looking at the thing like, dang, that's a lot of money for these like few trades. Like, it wasn't even no that. After that, we just basically decided to go ahead and split up the bill. So I'm like, why are we splitting it up? Didn't y'all just say y'all had my back? That y'all was gonna pay for me? So we split the bills up and I look at my bill and it's like $17.99, like almost $20. So I'm looking at my pocket like $5. I only have $5 on me, okay? I only have $5 on me. So I ask around, I'm like, okay, so who's gonna pay for my bill? I hear crickets, nothing but crickets. Nobody said anything. So I'm like, who's gonna pay for my bill? Because y'all just said, that y'all was gonna pay for me. Everybody started to get quiet and everybody was like, she said that she was gonna pay for you. No, she said that she was gonna pay. No, he said that he was gonna pay for you. No, she said this, she said that. I'm like, whoever said whatever, y'all gonna pay for this meal, okay? I didn't come all the way down here and y'all didn't pay for my meal. I understand that we broke right now, but y'all shouldn't have invited me and made me a part of this if y'all wasn't gonna come up to it. Like, no, y'all got me all types of twisted. So, Basically, I'm starting to argue with everybody like I'm mad and when I'm mad I showed that I'm mad I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So I'm like, you know what? Who's gonna pay for me? So I started getting scared I started getting nervous because I'm like nobody's saying that they're gonna help me pay for it My friend next to me. She barely had money to complete her meal. She barely had any money to complete her meal and I'm just like Okay, so she gave me a couple bucks. I remember she gave me a couple of bucks to help pay for my meal I get put the five dollars down. So I was short so we just gave them the thing and all I remember was my friend telling me to hurry up and come. So I'm like, what you mean? She was like, they called the cops. So I'm like, why they call the cops? And they're like, cause they left already. I look around, I'm like, freaking kidding me? Like all the other people that I was just with left. They left, like they dashed, they dying and dashed, like it was gone. They called in the police, they literally was on the phone right then and there as I was giving them the money, the little money that I could give them. Like, it just made it seem like I paid for it, but I really didn't put, pay for it. I didn't even complete the order, like I didn't pay for it. What were they gonna do with that money? It was only like, what, $8 in there for a $20 meal. So I'm just like, you know what? I either got one, one or two options. I can either take the blame for all my friends, which I wasn't fucking gonna do, or I can just leave and not have to worry about this no more. <laughs> so, you know, I had a big choice to deal with. Either get arrested for something that I didn't do and had no, you know, no type of responsibility for. Or I can just leave and go home to my happy family and home and just forget this day ever happened. So, my friend is already, like, outside the door waiting on me, telling me, rushing me to come on. So, I'm like, fuck. So, I hurried up and left. I left. Like, I, I was gone. Like, I was just gone. So, me and my friend, we, like, run into the train. We finally catch the right train. Like, all of them, they're already at the train station waiting on us. The train comes immediately, right when we 
were about to come up the stairs. So they waited on us. They held the doors open for a while, and then we finally hopped on that train. We was gone, was laughing, having fun. I'm just like, this is not even funny. Like, this is not even fun. We didn't even pay for our meal. How is this even fun? I can only imagine how that waitress felt because it was her first day. So it's like, damn, she just got screwed over on first day. But at the same time, she wasn't a good waitress. I'm not going to lie to y'all. She she really wasn't. She kept messing us up. And I think she was doing it on purpose. Oh, jealous ass. This was crazy that I had to dine and dash just because somebody else didn't pay for my meal. And that taught me... At the end of the day, that taught me that never depend on nobody. Like, never depend on nobody. When they tell you they gonna pay for something, you pay it yourself. Make sure you have money. If you don't have the money, don't go. It's not worth it. When I was in high school, I was thinking, dang, I'm gonna miss out on life. Like, I, I didn't enjoy my high school experience at all, really, because I had a curfew. So, it was just like, dang, I just want this one day to hang out with my friends. So, um... You know, that's what happens. And to this day, I don't even know what restaurant that was. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. I don't remember what waitress it was. And I'm pretty sure they forgot about the whole thing, too, because I'm not arrested. I don't have no handcuffs on me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to tell you guys to like, comment, and subscribe anymore. I'm going to try not to do that because I feel like if you really like my videos, you don't you won't hesitate to like comment and subscribe like you i don't have to tell you guys to subscribe to my videos or to like my videos so if you really like my channel you're gonna do what you want to do okay you're gonna do what you want to do you're gonna unsubscribe or you're gonna subscribe make up your mind but i hope you guys like this video i will be making more videos for you guys i hope you guys have a great day so bye you guys